Hi everyone, Stacy here with Cross House of Cards and Games, and in this video I'm opening in an entire box of Topps Heritage Baseball 2013 trading cards from the Hobby Store. So this is a hobby box. We paid $80 for it. And uh, in this one, Topps Heritage is interesting what they're doing this year. They're doing a lot of variations with like spelling errors, birth date errors, um, different poses on different cards. So uh, you're not necessarily going to know what you have on your first look through. It's going to take some time to really figure out what you have in a box. But of course, you know, you're also looking for um, autographs and relics as well. So those will be pretty obvious. And oh, so in addition to plastic, they also put something here. <laughs> okay, so open this up. And there is our box. And oh, I didn't even know this came with this, did you? Uh, we get a 50th anniversary, one original 1964 card inside. So we'll go ahead and open up that one first and see what we got. That's crazy. I didn't know that that came in here. And we got Bill Place, Place, the Twins, and it's a really, oh, the corners could be better. But that's pretty much what you're going to get off of 1964 cards. <laughs> you're not going to find many in much better condition. And the color on this one looks great. But then they put that on it. On the original card. Why would they do that? <laughs> Still kind of neat. That, that gold stamp on it might actually make it worth less. I don't know. So we'll start digging into this box. Now what's interesting about the Heritage is that all the cards here have the look of the 1964 tops, which is the one we just showed you. And you can see they've got the look. And we're just going to go through these quick. And it's really hard to tell based on first look, like I said, what you might have because there's variations and different variations are worth different money. So there's no inserts in this one and no different colored borders. So this one, if there's any money in this pack, it's going to be about the variations. Next pack. So in this first look through of this pack box, we're just mainly looking for the inserts and the obvious variations because I'm not going to be able to tell anything else. Again, doesn't seem to be anything obvious in this box. Alex Avia from the Tigers. Well, so far it's been not very exciting to open these up. I really enjoyed opening this the box of the retail pack version of these because it was just neat and interesting. But we also, by four packs in, had more to look at than we have here. So we may be getting some awesome variations that are worth good money. But like I said, it's going to be very difficult to tell that on the first look through. What do you guys think of the Topps Heritage? Do you like it? I think $80 was way too much to pay. <laughs> I 
Giants Gem a Detroit Bummer. <laughs> New Age Performer. So this is an insert. Manny Machado. It's the first insert I've seen. N-A-P-M-M. -M. Moving on. Oh. My husband just did a quick look through and I missed this one too. This is a New Age Performers. Albert Pujols. I wonder how I missed that when I'm looking through it. Now somebody was talking about uh, over 425 being SPs. Um, I don't know what that means, but that one's over 425. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Moving on. So in this box there are how many? There are 24 packs. This is a memorable moment. And the corner is dinged up on this memorable moment. So that's a bummer. Teddy wins first presidential mascot race. And the crazy thing is, all the other cards' corners look great. It's just that card's corner that was dinged up. That's a bummer. How does that happen? One card in the whole pack dinged up? What? Jose Valverde from the Tigers. Ah, we got a news flashback. This is also a uh, insert. Portier breaks Academy's color line. Sydney Portier. So there you go. Anibal Sanchez from the Tigers. Well, that was a pitcher pack. How many one of the packs a pitcher? No <laughs> weird. So far, I'm not real happy. I feel like at this point in the retail box, we had more inserts than this. Again, not much. That one's over 425. Again, don't know what that means. Help but feel a little disappointed right now in this box. Maybe that just means they're waiting for something really great, like we're gonna get like a top notch autograph. Since everything else has been kind of lackluster so far. Tori Hunter from the Tigers. Bill Coke from the Tigers. I'm seeing a pattern of there being two Tigers in a pack where there's one.
Here's a flashback. And the corner is in good shape. <laughs> Deuce is wild. Billy Mays. So I'd love to hear from everyone what they're opening right now, what kind of packs they're opening and what, what's their favorite stuff at the moment. You know, we would love to hear from other people and see if they're, you know, we can open up some packs of your favorite stuff or maybe a box. So go ahead and leave comments below about what you'd like to see us open, what your favorite stuff is, what, what you're getting too. We'd love to hear what other people are getting. And if you do videos too, go ahead and uh, you can leave your video as a response to our video and I'll add it as a response. So there's probably variations in here that we're just not seeing on, you know, on our first look through that are going to be worth some money. But it's hard to hard to know that. Cabrera achieves triple crown memorable moments. And it's definitely hard to know what we have just looking. And this is relatively new so the price guides haven't caught up with it yet. So there's another reason why it's a little hard to know what you got. But that's always fun too. You know, you get something before the price cards even have a handle on it. A then and now. Is that an insert? If it is, I haven't seen this one before. It is. A then and now MD. Eddie Matthews. And Adam Dunn. I know what a complete set of this is going to be worth. Nice second cards for sure. And will a complete set include all variations or only one set of variations? It'll be interesting to, to see how the price guide handles it. Another then and now, Luis Aparicio and Mike Trout. Omar Infante. Oh, two different cards. <laughs> this is a Red Sox pack. No, maybe not. It's a red pack. There's a lot of red stuff in there. A flashback, another Sandy Daddy, Sandy Kopex. For collectors out there, what is your favorite year to collect and what sport?
This head is weird shaped. A flashback, LBJ routes Goldwater in 1964 election. Those are neat, but not really relevant, I don't think. <laughs> and we are almost out of packs here, and I haven't gotten anything on first glance that's particularly amazing yet. Doesn't mean there isn't some amazing stuff in there, but just on first glance, the inserts have been pretty sparse. going to be a disappointment for the amount of money I spent on this box. Oh, there's a color coming up, so we'll see what that ends up being. Oh no, it's just backwards. <laughs> Fooled me! <laughs> yeah, nothing. Nothing. Ugh. <sighs> Last pack, and I'll tell you what, unless there's some really great variations in here, we will not be buying any more of this. Yeah, disappointing. New Age Performer, Ryan Braun. And that is all we got. Let's take a look at the odds of things, huh? The odds are... Original 1964 Topps Baseball Card Pack. Is that what that was that we got? 1 in 703. So I guess that was our good item for this. Was, uh... This is what they consider the, the you know, the odds of getting this is 1 in 703. So... Maybe because we had this, the rest of the box just stunk. <laughs> uh, other things you could have gotten was a 1964 Topps Oversize 1 in 36. We did not get one of those. A 1964 Topps Oversize Relic 1 in 70. So this was the rarest of that for the box. Um, 1 in 703. So maybe we can't complain about this box I don't know but it feels like the what was in the packs themselves was kind of a disappointment and it doesn't even say on here oh here they are the odds no it's all about that 1964 card so maybe there's not other great stuff in here autographs no look for a real one autograph or relic card in every box um, this must be the relic card. No? Wait. We didn't get an autograph for a relic. Look! It says it right there. Look for a real one autograph or relic card in every box. Hey everyone, Stacy here again, and um, I'm appending this at the end of that video because, uh, turns out we got an autograph. <laughs> when we were going through the cards again, we found this, and um, we were going through the back pulling out the ones that were 425 and up, and, um, this was in there and I'm like what is this and I turn it over and I see it is autographed 45 out of 64 as Yasmani Grandal he is a rookie top certified autograph issue a rookie catcher for the Padres so we did get an autograph so we got no complaints now I guess well we do but not about missing things from the box and the tops card was not a relic this is the autograph that should have been in the box and then real quickly we're going to show you the cards we got that are numbered 425 and up. These are SP cards and uh, the odds of getting one of these was 1 in 3 so we should have gotten at least 8 out of this box and we got 10 so not too bad. But it uh, looks like they're all pretty good players on the, on the SP side of things. So you got Adrian Gonzalez, Giancarlo Stanton, David Price, Joey Votto, James Shields, Hiroki Kuroda, Jake Peavy. David Ortiz, CC Sabathia, and Ryan Howard. So that is uh, the extra things I wanted to show you. So we did get an autograph. Woo. Okay, so thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you later.